Today we take a look at a weapon that is criminally underrated. For a fraction of the cost of its competitors, gaining even more traction day by day. A few days ago I made a video comparing some of the most expensive weapons in the game. This weapon honestly has some pretty impressive base stats and for a relatively cheap cost. And in the end I concluded that its value for money was really good. However, a lot has changed since then. At the moment, Scorpius is currently the mayor. And for those of you who don't know, apart from giving you a bribe if you vote for him, Scorpius's only real stat is the darker auctions. This increases the frequency of dark auctions and also introduces more special items. Now this is important because the only way to obtain the Midas staff is through the dark auctions. If we just go back to what I was talking about in terms of the Midas staff in the video that I made a few days ago, as you can see I put the cost down as 260 million coins. However, the cheapest Midas staff on the market that someone has paid over 100 million coins for is actually listed for 293 million and 259 million was initially paid for it, which is insane. If you look at all the other Midas staffs on the market that have recently been purchased, you can see that the prices paid for them are nowhere near 100 million coins and way closer to 300, some of them surpassing 300 too. This really is quite strange considering you think, well, if there's more dark auctions, there's more chances of people obtaining Midas staffs, therefore increasing the supply and only logically you'd think that the price may decrease. Having said that, I just paid around 340 million coins for this here Midas staff that we're going to be taking a look at today. And honestly, it was kind of painful to buy considering I literally bought one exactly the same when I made that other video two or three days ago, for like 270. And I wish that I hadn't have sold it. Anyway, if you are planning on purchasing anything from the Hypixel store, make sure to use code NITROS. It gets yourself 50% off. You should also subscribe to the channel, become part of the 26%, there's no reason not to. Make sure to join the Discord server if you do need any Slayer or Dungeon carries, it's linked in the description of every single video. Despite all of that, what, what is the Midas staff used for, who uses it, why would you use it, why would you buy it, and is it worth it? As I said before, I did come to a very brief conclusion to whether the Midas staff is worth it in that previous video, but I thought it warranted a whole separate video just because of how powerful it really is. First of all, we have to understand the mechanics of the Midas staff. The Midas staff is a right-click mage weapon, and for the most part it works at a pretty long range. You simply right click and it basically shoots gold blocks that fall on the enemy's head and deal a ton of damage. Now in terms of one hit damage this weapon deals around about 4.5 million for me, obviously it would be different for you. We have here a fully scrolled Hyperion, just to compare the damage. That was two mobs and we still did less damage. On one mob we do 1.8 million. Of course there is a reason why this Midas staff is so much cheaper in that case. And that's because of the cooldown, we're not able to spam the Midas staff as we are with the Hyperion. Once you've basically right clicked, there's a one second cooldown on the Midas staff. As you can see, I can't click again, and now I can finally click again. If we are to switch to Hyperion, as you can see, I can just literally keep clicking. Like, there's no cooldown at all. And to be honest, in terms of the Hyperion, that in a nutshell is what you pay for. You might be thinking, well, the Midas staff still does more damage. Please explain. Well, in the time that it's taken for you to right click with the Midas staff and then wait for the cooldown to dissipate, you could have basically right clicked with the Hyperion probably like 4 or 5 times. Basically meaning that the DPS on a Hyperion is way way higher than that of a Midas Staff. That doesn't mean that the Midas Staff isn't a good weapon, it's a ridiculously good weapon. And for the price as well, it's really not too bad, even though it's quite expensive at the moment. As I mentioned, for a decent Midas Staff, it's going to set you back around about 350 million coins at the moment. And as for a good Hyperion, you're going to pay way closer to 2 billion coins. This means that for each Hyperion you could buy, you could buy almost 6 Midas Staffs. Of course with the Hyperion dealing way more DPS, this is going to massively affect the clearing ability within dungeons. So here's the Hyperion, um, of course you can basically traverse through a room in seconds because you can teleport and basically just kill everything in its path with not really any thought at all. And now the turn of the Midas Staff. It's a little bit clunky, you can't spam it. Um, and yeah, nowhere near as quick as, you know, to actually clear. Having said that, it still shreds through th things, does a ton of damage. It's really not a bad runner-up. But how does the Midas Staff compare in other aspects of the game? For instance, against mini-bosses in the Crimson Isle. Well, let's just say, the Hyperion is um, very useful for this aspect of the game. As you can see, it deals a ton of damage. It's just mana-dependent, you know, at the moment I'm running out. But just from those, like, what, 10 clicks, I I've dealt around about 25 million damage to this mob. 
As with the Midas staff, it may be a little bit trickier, but we'll see. Of course, we can't spam it. But uh, obviously, we're doing way more damage to it per time. Really doesn't compare. When I say we're doing way more damage, we're actually, we're actually doing less damage than the Hyperion, which is very interesting. Yeah, I don't massively recommend using a Midas staff for doing mini bosses at all. Um, yeah, there's not really any comparison at all. How about something like Sven Slayer? Well, we know how pretty effortless it is um, with a Hyperion. Yeah, not very, not very slow. I also thought I could have done it a bit quicker. Uh, let's see how the Midas Staff compares. I mean, the Midas Staff does way more one-hit damage, so there's a potential that could just completely and utterly one-hit it. However, it's got to be said, just like with dungeons, actually clearing and spawning the bosses way, way quicker with a Hyperion, I've got to say. Also, this is kind of annoying. Yeah. Honestly, I think the, the main thing that lets the Midas Staff down is the delay, and the delay makes it feel a bit clunky, because you want to spam it, but of course that's just not how it works. I feel like the Hyperion is more of like a submachine gun, and the Midas Staff is more of a sniper. And we're going to try to... Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for the boss, big time. For the boss, it's really good. It can obviously instantly one-tap. Won't really recommend spawning with it though. And because of the reasons that I've explained, the Midas Staff doesn't exactly give you the Kudra Pass. The harsh reality is, a lot of players that don't have a Hyperion will simply just get kicked from the party. The clunkiness, the delay, and the comparable DPS to Hyperion is the reason why the Midas Staff is much cheaper and the Hyperion is way more expensive. And for certain aspects of the game, it definitely shows. However, for a fraction of the price, this weapon can be overlooked, forever in the shadows of the Hyperion. The bottom line is, this weapon is never meant to be better than the Hyperion. If you think about it, it is natural progression to buy a Midas Staff, and then when you can afford a Hyperion, get a Hyperion if you're going down the Mage route. Of course, that's dependent on what you want the Hyperion for. For some, in some instances, the, the Midas Staff isn't very useful. However, in terms of dungeons, it's a weapon that could easily carry it up to floor 6, debatably even floor 7. Obviously, this is dependent on your skill and also your Catacombs level. Of course, it's way easier for someone with a higher Catacombs level to say this weapon can still be used in a certain floor because it, you're going to be way stronger with the weapon. But for the type of play that this weapon targets, it's definitely a very good choice of weapon, especially for the price and a good stepping stone to a Hyperion. Anyway, how good is the Midas Staff in your opinion? Let me know in the comments. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one.